Rappers Wanted, a mathematical adventure in surface area. Written by Candice, illustrated by Danielle. Hello all, my name is Snips. Snips Cleaver to be exact. I want to tell you how one simple challenge led to a great mathematical discovery way up here at the North Pole about four or five hundred years ago. It all started when Conductor Colton stepped off the Glacier Express and challenged Santa and his elves to join the movement called The North Pole is Going Green. I recall. Yep, Santa challenged each of his departments to reduce the amount of materials used and make better use of our resources. I was, and still am, the expert paper cutter in Santa's gift wrapping department. I wanted to hire the most efficient gift wrapper, so I charged my department to find a way to conserve paper. I held job interviews and required each potential wrapper to submit an order form requesting the exact amount of paper needed to wrap the following present. Each of the elves eagerly began taking measurements. Some used rulers, some measuring tapes, and some used a magical string. It was all so exciting. Jen was the first to put her box on the table. She knew she needed to use the dimensions of the box. She multiplied 16 by 10 by 2 and figured she needed 320 square inches of wrapping paper to cover the present. She submitted the request to me, but it was not enough. I cut the paper according to her request. I explained to her that she had to use the formula for finding the volume of the box, which is length times width times height. This will tell you how much it would take to fill a box not to cover. I said, her twin brother Mikey put his box on the table. After watching Jen recycle her sheet of paper, she wanted to be sure to get enough. He submitted a request for double the square inches of paper, which was for 640 square inches of paper. I cut the paper according to his request. He had way too much. He had made an error similar to Jen's. He found the volume by using the dimensions of the box and multiplied the volume by two. Robbie Rumbus was next to submit his request. He wanted 160 square inches of paper. I cut the paper according to his request. As soon as Robbie saw the paper, he knew he made an error. I asked Robbie which dimensions he had used. He said he used length times width. I explained it would be appropriate to use the length times the width when we need the area of only one side. Robbie asked, well, couldn't I just multiply the area by six since there are six slides? I told him he was on the right track. He could multiply the area of one side by six if the present were a cube because all six faces would have the same area. Hexter Poindexter got in line at the paper counter. He requested 212 square inches of paper. I cut the paper according to his request. Hex went to his table and began wrapping. When Hexter tried to wrap his presents, he looked a bit confused. Snips, I don't understand. I found the area of the front of the box, the side of the box, and the top of the box. Why don't I have enough paper to wrap the present? Hex inquired. Hex, you are half right, I said with a smile. You found the area 
of three of the sides, but you forgot that the top has a corresponding side, which is the bottom. The front matches the back and the two sides are the same. Susie was next and asked for two pieces of 10 by two paper, two pieces of two by 16 paper and two pieces of 16 by 10 paper. I cut the paper accordingly to her request. She had labeled each side appropriately and then taped each piece of paper on separately. This worked, but it wasn't pretty. Sir Fizz, who was originally from England, was the next elf to submit a request. He wanted 424 square inches of paper. I cut the paper according to his request. He eagerly grabbed the paper and sneaked off to his table. He started cutting all the little squares apart. An interesting approach, I noticed. When Sir Fish finished, Fizz finished, he had his box covered completely. He had used seven rows of tape, but it was completely covered. I asked him how he had arrived to his answer. He said, I knew that Hexter asked for 212 squared inches, and that wasn't enough. He had used seven rows of tape, but it was completely covered. I asked him how he had arrived to his answer. He said, I knew that Hexter asked for 212 inches and that wasn't enough to cover only three sides. I heard Susie ask for two pieces of 10 by 16 and two pieces of two by 16 and two pieces of 10 by two papers. I knew there were six sides to the box. I started thinking about putting all those numbers together and coming up with one number. I decided there were two lengths and times width pieces, two lengths times height pieces, and two widths times height pieces. I came up with this formula, two LW plus two LH plus two WH. When I solved this formula, I came up with 424 squared inches. What do you think? Surface asked. I thought it was simply marvelous. I examined the packet and determined it was completely covered by paper with no excess. I gave Surface a nod of approval and he placed his present on the table for all to see.